Yeah, hello everybody and uh, welcome to this um, mod reveal of the small, the baby harvester of the range in the class DLC pack, Platinum. Um, this one's close to my heart because I used to drive one of these for many years for a farmer. This model is the, the class Maxi 108 SL. The one I used to drive was a for the farmer was a 118 SL. Um, I think it had one or two like uh, different features on it, bigger features. Uh, I think it had a bigger engine in it for a start off, hence the bigger number. Uh, I think we had a. I'm sure we had a, a Merc engine in the one oh. I used to drive. But uh, we got ours back in 1990 originally I'm sure we did and uh, that was one of the first ones well it was the first one in the area my area anyway down where I come from um, because believe it or not especially for a fire what was it we had 500 acre farm a 20 foot header was uh, uh, quite a big beast in them days and you could do, we could, we could do a good 70 acres, possibly more a day, depending on crop conditions. Uh, so in them days, that was, uh, you know, that was a good, uh, the one I had was a good output combined. Um, that possibly had a bigger drum in it, but uh, you're going back a long while now, and it's several years now since I worked on a farm and, and drove a machine. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. But this one is uh, the 108 SL Maxi Dominator, and uh, everything is uh, pretty much well it's identical to the one. Um, that's your auger light, no lights on the end of the augers. This could be a little bit, uh, a little bit suspect to say the least at times. Never in the right place when you need it, as they say. Uh, that's your engine. I'll just see if I can get back up. That's your engine. Open and hatch here on the side. Flip it open and you've got your oil levels and all that in there. Um, because on the one I drove you had uh, the engine in front of the grain tank. Um, on the top, they're, they're a bit suspect the leak in the tanks. You've got your side handle there on the side to uh, flip the tank lid open and close. Nothing was like automatic. In them days, everything is the same. That's nice to have this in game. I know uh, a lot of people know I've been looking forward to having this one. That's an apologies, that's all I've been going on about in streams. Uh, you got your air cleaner and yeah, just try and do that and take your filter out and give it a good old thing every day. And you got your hatch here in the back if your straw balk has got blocked. I know once I done that on damp. Uh, rape stubble and believe you me cleaning that out you'd rather not um, have any issues that cut me hands up fairly the exhaust system is a little bit different on this one the one I had but uh, down the side here you've got your steps I just used to unclip and fold and you could just uh, clip them down lower um, everything is the same. You've got your diesel filler point here, and uh, yeah, everything, all uh, little decals and everything on here, they've got it spot on, all underneath there looks the same. And uh, I remember you used to, to take this side cover, open this up, and change your belts round. When you wanted to go in the straw swath mode, and you'd undo this here on the other side, and this lever would flip down in between your pulleys. Um, all this had to be undone as well. But that was good, that was fun stuff. The header, the only difference is on the header on that is on this one. Um, on mine, I had a. 
I had the um, auto contour header, which never wasn't very successful. But I don't know if anybody can correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, this one's the eight. This one's the 108 SL. I had the 118 SL. Mine had a double PTO shaft. On either side, I'm pretty certain that did. So we'll just fire it up. The steps will come up as a nice feature there. Um, that does actually sound like the one I used to drive. But we'll just have a look inside the cab. I did notice when I looked at it uh, when it first came out, one or two things are different. Uh, mine didn't have the box there on the pillow. Mine didn't have one of them at all. Um, I had your gear shifter, range here, your gear stick. And everything else. Yeah, the revs network, dials work there. Um, mine had an unload and pedal there on the floor, which I think that's what that one's got there, just near the class symbol on the rubber floor. Uh, mine didn't have that box there either. Down in the corner, that white box. But one one thing I did notice um, when I was inside the cab was uh, the door. The door didn't seem to fit, fit correctly to me. Um, along the top edge. See how that door rubber, that, that window rubber? That don't... Perhaps that's how mine was, but it just seemed as if... But it's only a minor. Minor thing. But I'm sure mine was more... That might not have been. That's a, look, that's a long while ago now. But that's the one thing I did notice. Whether that is the white of the door. Top of the door going round, or whether that is a gap. That just don't look sort of 100%. But you used to have to look through the engine bay, and then yeah, you had a tank window in the back, as you can see, yeah. Auger coming up into the tank, tank auger. This window here used to get fairly filthy. So you had to keep that clean regular. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll unhitch the header and we'll... We'll fire up. Oh, you got your long, uh, Also, mine never had inside the tank lids. You know, like the hose shape on the top. Mine never had used to have them metal bits with the triangular areas in. Mine just used to have like sort of a shield either side. So that was all open. Let's fire up and we'll see what she sounds like. She just didn't, for me, she just hasn't got enough hum about her compared to one I used to drive. Mine used to have a fair old bit of grunt about it. You could uh, you could hear it a long way off. You could hear the hum of them, you know, for, for miles away. And it just didn't quite got that.
that dominator sound to me. I don't know if anybody, but anybody else agree. I just think it hasn't quite got that. Anybody what's driven one? But one thing I just want to look at here. Um, what are that? Unfold it. Oh, that's cool. Everything go down how it should do. And then you've got your straw. Ah, that's nice. you got your straw. Um, you've got your straw swath flaps come down there. To give you like the right whip straw swath. Well, another thing what I have noticed here, this one has got a handle. That's got a handle stick off the back there for um, putting that flap in inside there. So then the straw obviously come over the straw walk, doesn't at the back. Mine never had that handle. I used to have a little bar underneath, clipped underneath, inside the back. And you used to have to, when you wanted to run, open that back out, you used to have to push it through a hole inside and then push that tin flap. You also what I mean, that'll come back again in a minute. Here it come. But it's got a handle, you do it from a handle on this one. But on mine, you used to... Used to push it by hand, you used to, have to push it in by hand. You used to lose anything, push it in by hand, and then to put it back out again, you used to have to get inside with a a little bar, a little tiny pole and push it back. That used to push like in the centre of it and flip it back to the uh, straw chop and mow it. But anyway, we'll, we'll give it a go with that and see how it goes. I did have a quick look at it in the um, shop and the disappointing thing for me is you can't put wider tyres on it. I had a big old set of wide front tyres on mine, Michelin's. On the one I used to drive. And also I had the, uh, like I say, I had the auto contour header, which never did work very well. But I'll just quickly show you what I'm talking about this this PTO shaft. Mine had a shaft this side and it also had a shaft PTO shaft this side. I know it did because it used to be a bit of a night where all these electrics and uh, hydraulic hoses for your header used to have to make sure you had them out the way and had the old guard chained up so it didn't spin round and wear on the on the uh, electric wires and stuff so that's the only thing missing here mine like I say think about it now mine definitely had a power shaft PTO shaft this solid But that's nice how that that's nice how that all open up at the back. That's exactly how I do. Work in reality. I was just gonna try on that canola field opposite there, all seed rape we call that in the UK because I just wanted to see if the header adapt to canola because on mine I only used to have one uh, side knife on my header because obviously rape is sort of, quite a, sort of a woolly sort of crop and you have to and fairly somewhat can be not nowadays in but it used to be fairly tall the old canola crops so I uh, used to have a side knife, but I just wanted to look and see if they've got them all set up right. 
Because now on some of these mods, they're actually put them so they're actually like inside where their your pickup reel is, your red pickup reel. So uh, we'll uh, fire up. Yep, I'll ask. That's good. Awesome. One thing is for sure, I certainly never used to have my uh, pickup reel, the red pickup reel spinning round. I certainly didn't have that going that speed. And especially, you'd want it up in the air and extended. On canola, otherwise you are going to get a very shattering effect and uh, quite a good crop loss. Which the boss won't be very happy about. Because ideally it should be going around about as fast as what your forward speed is. Your wheels are turning and vary. But that's nice you've got them. Mine only used to have one. I used to have to keep going round and round sort of thing in a circle with mine. Because mine only had uh, one. On my header. But that was preferable to have two. But they all look okay. Let's have a look at them. Yeah, a little bit at an angle, but... Nothing too bad. They're at the wire, the... The red pickup rail, that's the main thing. But fantastic animations on this harvester. Well, on the whole class DLC pack, what I've seen of it in general. But we'll just check and... We'll just check and make sure all the... Lights network. Indicators. Front lights. Yeah. Beacons. Ah, uh, I was going to say, do that. That work as well. Brilliant. The auger like what I was telling you about on the side there. Nice. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this class Dominator 118 SL from the DLC class pack. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and leave any comments. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.